Why in the world would the Falcons get rid of their defensive coordinator and defensive line coach when they had the Patriots dead to rights, only three points in a Super Bowl? I mean, yeah, I, I think this walk is, me through this the process was more here. About, I think Dan Quinn wasn't happy with his defensive staff through the season. He took over the play calling about midway through the season. He ran the defense. He installed the defense. Sure. And because he was unhappy with how it was going, which took away from him being a head coach, I think he felt like he needed to make a change. Richard Smith was one of his close friends. But I think he felt like, and this would have happened whether they beat Seattle, lost to Seattle in the first playoff game, or beaten the Patriots in the Super Bowl. Get out this, of here. This was so, going to happen. Hold on a minute. So this, this, we would be hearing about a change yeah, at defensive is, coordinator? Yeah, there's no doubt. And yeah. defensive line. I mean, I think there's no. Jared could have won the MVP on, from Brian Cox's line. Right, uh, but I think when you see something you have to fix as a head coach, there are always hard jobs to make, hard decisions to make. I think this is one that Dan Quinn felt like he needed to make, and all through the season, I had heard that they were going to make changes on the defensive staff. Beasley won the sack title. I mean, yeah, but you know, so Beasley what, wasn't really. Did you even hear Beasley's name mentioned in the game? It was kind of he was kind of. Well, he the, almost he almost made had his own Malcolm game. Butler oh, moment. Oh my gosh! Yes. Oh okay. my gosh. He had he was on coverage of Martellus Bennett. Oh my god. We could have been sitting here talking about how in the world did the Patriots not run the ball from yeah. the one yard line? You know, that was kind of an interesting I thought the same thing too. It, it would have been Beasley in Disney World. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean it was yeah, but Beasley really his rush. I think this is something that damn you don't these aren't decisions based on impulse or Victor oh everybody says, Oh, Arthur Blank must have demanded it. No. This is something you give a lot of thought to. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on audience. 